Oh, hello everybody. So today we have guests in our studio and I'm very proud to meet this woman. It's a very, very famous and interesting personality and you will understand why. So welcome, Janine Giovanni. It's a multi-award winning journalist and author, co-founder and co-director in the Reconing Project. We will talk about this, mm -hmm. what is the project. And as well as the war reporter that uh, was working, have been working in hot spots around the world for years, right? Yes, absolutely. First of all, thank you so much for having me here. It's, it's a real honor to be in Ukraine, to be in Kyiv, to be with the Ukrainian people and to be on your show tonight. So thank you very much for having me. Thank you. It's my honor and my pleasure too. But I asked you before the start of our conversation if it's the first time you're visiting in Ukraine and it appeared that it's not the first time. So how many times you've been here, have been here before war and uh, what impressions you have right now? Well, uh, I've been to Ukraine many times. Um, as the executive director of the Reckoning Project right now, what I am focused on with my team, which is led by um, Natalia Gumenyuk in Ukraine and Peter Pomerantsev, who is a Ukrainian-born British journalist and academic, we are documenting war crimes inside Ukraine and we are verifying them and helping to build cases for prosecution. Um, as well as also making long format stories and films to counter Kremlin disinformation mm -hmm. so that we basically um, can tell the truth of what is happening here. Um, you ask me what is happening here, and I will tell you this morning, um, well, all last night there were air raids um, by drones, uh, Iranian-made drones in many cases coming from the Russian assault on Ukraine. Um, so this is, of course, something very terrifying for the population, very cruel, because the purpose, one of the systematic attempts by Vladimir Putin is to terrify the local population. Um, today, around noon, there were more uh, rocket strikes, um, which basically um, is a way of trying to take a hold of Ukraine. Mm. So since the full-scale invasion in February 2022, um, what the Reckoning Project and what I work on is to document these kind of crimes, the systematic attacks on civilians, but also torture, deportation, forcible abduction of Ukrainian children to Russia. Um, generally, Putin's strategy for the Russification of Ukraine, or his attempts at the Russification of, of Ukraine. Uh, we will talk uh, a little more detail about this project and how you do your job in uh, um, deoccupied cities. But uh, now it's interesting for me if you manage to speak uh, to the people of uh, free cities of Ukraine. Mm -hmm. So their attitude, like we talked now before our interview, how uh, accept uh, the Ukrainians all these missiles attacks during more than all year. And the more interesting for me, what's how do you see? What's the point? I mean, what's the aim of Putin? It's like doing the same stupid thing and waiting for another result. And it's a lot of money yes. that just spread into air by Russians. So you made two points. One is the normalization of the war. And that's a terrible thing because people now, it's uh, 16 months into the war. So people are becoming accustomed to being woken up in the middle of the night by air raids. And that's in Kyiv. If in the southeast, people are enduring terrible conditions and terrible bombing and terrible deprivation. Um, it's, it's really tragic to see that so many lives have been absolutely disrupted, whether it's families of soldiers who have been killed or on the front line, whether it's people who have been injured or people who have lost their homes or people who have been separated from family or people who have been forced to leave Ukraine. Um, it's very painful to be in exile when your country is at war. And you know perhaps you've left because it's safer for your children or for your elderly parents. But in fact, anyone who is driven away from their home because of war is incredibly um, a very painful position to be in. Um, what is the point of this war? Well, 
Only Mr. Putin can answer that, but I would like to take a guess. He wants to conquer Ukraine. Um, he wants to subdue the Ukrainian people who have fought so hard for justice, democracy, freedom for so many years. Um, he wants this land to be his. He has an imperial notion of what is Russia. Um, he has uh, racist views that there are no such thing as Ukrainian people, and there's no such thing as a Ukrainian identity. We know this is propaganda, brainwashing, and that many of the Russian people who are held hostage by him today are forced to take this news in because that's all they're able to get. So I think that his aim is to win, but he won't win. He will not conquer Ukraine. Um, Ukrainians will never allow themselves to kneel. They, you, will win. Um, I don't know when this war will end. It might be six months, it might be three years, but I know it will end, and I know there will be a victory for Ukraine.